Hey guys, my name is Benjamin Anani Asamoa. Welcome to my e-commerce tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create a professional and beautiful e-commerce website step by step using WordPress and WooCommerce. You don't need to know any website design or coding knowledge to create your own e-commerce website because we are going to use a free drag and drop page builder for our website. If you want to know how to take mobile money payments if you are in Africa and take credit card payments on your online store and easily customize your website using just WordPress and Elementor page builder, then you need to stay and watch this video till the end. Setting up this website is so easy to start. You just need to get a domain name and web hosting, install your WordPress, install a free theme and plugins, then you get your logo for free or you purchase your premium logo at Fiverr. Then you start designing your website. So this is the website we are going to design. So we have our logo here. We have our menu. Then we have our cart icon showing the products in your cart. We have the set bar where you can set for product. We have social media icons and some menus here. So we also have hero image with a text and a button. So we scroll down. We have some icons and text here. We also have your featured categories. Then we have your new arrivals or latest products. So we have some banners also in here. Then we have some product tabs in here. So you can move from the new arrivals to best selling, featured and top rated. So you scroll down. We have your latest blog. So I'm going to show you how to create blogs and I'll show you how to insert this brand logos here. We also have our footer where we have your about us some links and you have your copyright also here with your payments you receive so i'm taking inspiration from website like amazon aliexpress ebay and many more so let's move on to our shop page so when you go to the shop page so the shop page is where all your products can be located having your product categories and filtering you can click the quick view to open a quick view for your customer to see click on the add to cut and pay you can also click on the product if it has different categories for example this one where we have different attributes like the colors and the size this product has two different attributes the color and the size you can select the color and you select the size okay so you can select the attributes then add to cut so when you click on add to cut it gives you a notification then you can go to your cart and view your cart okay so if you have a coupon code you can enter your coupon code here and apply your coupon and proceed to check out so all you need is to enter the billing details okay so let's go to your blog you can also write a blog where it will help you to increase your seo search on google so this is our blog let's move to the about page so you can also have your about page where this page talks more about your company i'll show you how to create all these pages then customers can contact you using the contact page so your contact page has some information how customers can contact you so customers can use this form to contact you click on send then you have your location so this is how our website is going to be let's dive in first of all we need to get our domain name and web hosting so what is a domain name a domain name is the name of your website as in www.google.com so this company name or this business name is picking shop so i chose a domain name called pickingshub.com so a web hosting is a platform or a server which hosts all your websites information to keep your website running so everything on this website is being hosted on a web hosting platform okay guys so we need to get our domain name and web hosting so click the link in the description below to get a discount to purchase your domain name and web hosting this link also helps me support my channel or enter my website slash name hero to get a discount on your domain name and web hosting so i chose name hero because name hero is the fastest web hosting platform on the internet they give you 
99% uptime. You also provide free SSD and SSL. It is a light speed, which is 20 times faster than the normal HostGator, GoDaddy, and the other hosting providers. So let's get our web hosting by clicking on get started. So there are four prices over here. We have the starter cloud, the plus cloud, table, and the business cloud. So I would like to choose the plus cloud because our e-commerce website involves a lot of features which will use a lot of functionalities. So what I do is I'll click on the order now. So if you have just a business website, you can just click on the starter cloud to get your to get your web hosting. But because we are working on e-commerce website, I will choose the plus cloud or when your e-commerce website grows up, you need to either jump onto Turbo Cloud or go to the Business Cloud. And the Plus Cloud also gives you up to seven websites to host on. So if you want unlimited website, then you need to choose the Turbo Cloud with 3 gig RAM. So click on Other. So I'm just going to select one year for now. So if you want to get free domain, you will need to select two years or more. So let's move on by clicking on the one year. So so in our shopping cart, what we need to do is we need to register a new domain. We check. So we check our domain. Then we click continue. Click on continue again. Because we are having, we are getting a free SSL. We don't need to select the second SSL to purchase any SSL again. We just need a free SSL. We continue. So I usually check on the ID protection to protect you from spammers. So it protects your personal information and reduce the amount of spam in your in your inbox. So this thing is protecting you from the domain that you are purchasing. If you don't protect yourself, you are going to get so many spam messages trying to sell you their services like SEO or trying to sell you a website design service. So it is your choice. You can either select the id protection or you can leave it or select it if you want you can remove it then you click on continue so you are getting 52 percent discount from the total amount so you're just going to pay for only 99 dollars so what you need to do is you click on checkout then you enter your personal information your billing address then your additional required information so let me just do that. So after filling your information, what you need to do is, so you either select by credit card or PayPal. So you enter your credit card information here. Then after that, you accept the terms and payment policy. If you want to get emails from them, you can select, but I don't need anything like that. I'll select no, then you click on complete order. So after payment, so you click on back. All right. So after a successful payment, you get a pop-up thanking you for your order. You close it, then you continue to your client area. On our client area, we have the web hosting and the domain we purchased. You need to come to your active product or services. You click on the web hosting package. It takes you here, so it gives you some the details of your cloud hosting. So you get your name service and your server name and your IP. So what you need to do is just click on login to cPanel. So in your cPanel, what you need to do is you scroll down. You will see Softaculous app installer. So you click on WordPress. Okay, so from here, what you need to do is you need to click on install now. This is where your WordPress is going to be installed. So you select you choose your installation URL. So what you need to do is select the HTTPS that is secure. Then you select your domain. If you only have one domain, it will be installed on the domain available. So ignore this certificates issue. Then you come and enter your website name. Then you give a description. Then you scroll down and enter your username and password. So this is the username and password you're going to log in on your WordPress dashboard. So you enter your password. Okay, so then you enter your email address here. Then you scroll down. 
then you click on install so wordpress is installing onto our domain so it takes within some few minutes okay so congratulations your software was installed successfully so now wordpress is installed so you click on it and it takes you to your website okay guys so our website is successfully installed this is how the website looks like not presentable as you see just a simple text and blocks so what we need to do is we need to go to the admin dashboard to start customizing our website so on the url enter wp admin so this is how you always log in when you want to go to your dashboard so let's enter the username and password you created when installing wordpress so click on login okay so we are at the back end of the website where you customize everything here so this is the menu side and this is the header side where you can visit your home page from here let's talk about this menu here so this is your dashboard where you whenever you click on any of this this if you want to come to your dashboard you click on here and you land here this is the home page of the admin then this is post so when you click on the post you see we have a test post here so this is mainly for blog this is a blog post a blog post is just normal text that you write like the news on your website so media is where all media will be located your pictures your pdf your files anything you upload will be kept on media the pages is a place where you create your website pages to show on your menu so the comment is also where people comment on your website or reviews will appear here then appearance include the theme and the widgets menus and other stuff so the plugin is mainly additional add-ons or features that you add to your website you install to add to your website then the users is where all users who register will be listed including you yourself then tools is for importing and exporting your website and where the site health is so first of all we need to remove all these tabs in here not very important so we click on i click on dismiss then you go to the screen options here then you deselect all of these selections here then you click on the screen option again so our dashboard is perfect now all right guys so what we have to do now is to change our website from http to https so when you click on the padlock here you see our website is not secure so you have to make sure ssl is installed so you can have some trust from your customers every e-commerce website needs an ssl to protect your customers data so what you need to do is we come to settings so this is our site title the tagline so the tagline is mainly the description of your website you need to describe your website so i'll say best clothing shop in ghana then we go to the address then put s here which means secure to change it because we already have ssl installed on the name hero all we need to do is to add s then we come to membership so this is where you can change your email there's your administrative email you can change it anytime you want then you click on membership so this is mainly for customers to register on your website so if you don't take nobody will be able to register on your website so you click on you take any one can register then we scroll down then you can change your language over here to any language you want then click on save changes okay so now our ssl is installed so you can see here that we have https instead of http so the connection is secured now so we have to log in again because it has to log you out to go back onto the secured website so let's enter your username and password again click on enter okay so we are back to the settings so another important place we need to work on is the permalink so let's click the permalinks okay we need to change it from day and name to post name so that it will become 
your website name slash contacts as instead of dates and then contact us so we select the post name then click on save changes okay so let's go back to our dashboard so what we need to do right now is to install a theme which is a free theme with that we are going to use to build our website called ocean wp so we are going to build our e-commerce using a free theme and free plugins let's go to appearance and click on themes so as you can see we already have some installed themes which came with wordpress so if you want to change your website so anytime you change a theme here it affects the main page so you click on add new okay so what we have to do is we have to set for ocean wp so ocean wp is a very good theme you can use it for e-commerce for business websites and so on so click on install after that then you click on activate to activate it okay so now ocean wp has been activated which will also change the design of the will also change the design of the website so what we need to do is i would like us to delete all these other themes to make our website light so when you click on click on it then you come here click on delete then you delete it so what we need is we only need the ocean wp here and that is the only thing we have so we want to make our website lighter we have some notification here that we need to install some plugin okay so we get we will get back to that one so let's go to plugins and install it manually from there i click on plugins and i go to add new but before that i would like us to go to the plugins and check the installed plugins we already have some default plugins here i'll delete if, if you want to delete it you just click on delete so this is our default theme which came with the wordpress website so we don't need them okay guys so we need to install the recommended plugins to make our website work well first of all we need to install elemental page builder so click the link in the description below to download elemental page builder so i'll enter it here so as you can see we have a free version and we have other versions you, for now we're going to use the free version we don't really need to purchase any of this so i will show you where you need a premium in case you want to get it upgraded but for now we'll click on the get started yes i sure do we click on continue then we don't need to enter anything here we click on download it and download to so start downloading into your download folder so it pops for us to download so it's a zip file we need to download it so to a download here for us so let's close it and go back to our plugins and go and upload it so we click on upload here then we click on browse so we locate where it is downloaded this is the elemental page builder here i click on open i click on install now to install the elemental page builder okay so elemental page builder has been downloaded successfully so what i'll do is i'll return to plugin installer so we need to download other plugins required by the theme then you search for ocean wp so ocean wp is the company which did the ocean wp theme so ocean wp theme needs some additional plugins to function well so first of all what we need is ocean extra you click on ocean extra you click on install now we scroll down then we look for ocean product sharing click on install now then we, we scroll down again then we look for ocean social sharing so ocean social sharing is for you to share your blog to social media and the ocean product sharing is also to share your products on your website to the social media right now as you can see there are activates here we won't activate it right now we will activate them all together so let's go and install another plugin called premium add-ons so this premium add-ons add great functionalities to the page builder so you click on install now then 
we will search for elements kit so the first one here by wp met you click on install now then we install one additional important plugin called ocean sticky header then we click on install now so all these themes so all these plugins are going to add great functionalities to our website then we add another plugin called contact form 7 so this is going to be our contact form click on install now so we are going to add another additional plugin called Inventu element so Inventu element also gives us some functionalities to add more custom themes and blocks so i click on install now so go back to install plugins so that we can activate all of them together so as you can see we have all the plugins here so just click here then it selects the bulk activation the bulk action and click on activate so we need to apply to activate all the plugins okay so we need to clean this up all we need to do is just close all of them so we will skip the setup with that okay so it takes us back to our dashboard so what we need to do is i would like to clean up this one too here so i click on the screen option then clean the elemental overview here and clean the ocean wp overview too here we dismiss this notice okay so let's go back to the plugins side and install the most important part of the plugin to sell so we look for woocommerce so we click on install now so let's click on activate to activate the woocommerce okay so now it brings after activating it brings us to the setup wizard where we install WooCommerce so get your store up and running quickly so we click on yes please okay so you need to fill your address line one and fill in all the rest so I'm going to fill my address line one so I'll move to my country so I'm in Ghana then you select your region then you enter your city and your postcode I am not setting for a client I'm setting for myself so I don't select this one so you click on continue then use it tracking for them to track you I'll say no I'll click on continue you select your category what are you selling let's say if you're selling fashion health and other things you can select it electronics so select your category and cl click on continue okay so what type of product will be listed so i'll click on physical good product and virtual products so if you are also if you also offer pro virtual products you can select that one but mainly when you are creating woocommerce you can select which ones you want click on continue so how many products so i will just select any of them currently selling elsewhere no so it gives us some additional plugins to add so i want to take all you don't need them right now click on continue then which theme are you choosing for your woocommerce so we'll click on continue with my active active theme woocommerce is asking whether we want to enhance your store with jetpack for now we don't need jetpack so we click on no thanks so we have successfully installed woocommerce so we'll click on continue okay so after successfully installing woocommerce woocommerce would like us to um, add some products personalize the store set up shipping we'll do this later so let's go to the dashboard and go and install another plugin called variations which is so this variation is going to give us more variations in our woocommerce product so i click on add new okay so we set for variation swatches for woocommerce so variation swatches for woocommerce the first one by emran ahmed 
with over 100,000 active installations. So we click on install now. Okay, so variation switches for WooCommerce has been installed. Then we search for another plugin called TI WooCommerce Wishlist. So I'll put all these plugins in the link in the description below to download. I'll click on install now. So I'll click on activate to activate the plugin. Then we need to set it up. We click on let's go. So what is the name, the default? So what I'll do is I'll say my wish list. So that is going to be the wish list for your customers. So I'll click on continue. So this is going to create your wish list paid for you. We'll click on continue. So from this side, we'll click on continue. Okay, so we'll skip all this side. Then get our wish list ready. So we'll return to the dashboard. So as you can see, we have two main tabs here. So I'll pull this one here and this one here. So this is where you see all your transactions, your orders, then your products, the ones in out of stock and the ones in low, low in stock. Okay, guys, so let's go to the plugins page to activate variation swatches. So we go to variation swatches for WooCommerce and activate it. The variation swatches for WooCommerce is mainly for changing the colors. So for example, like the colors over here and the types, whenever you select, it should be able to um, change the color according to the image that you select. So we will look into it more. Let's go back to our dashboard. So from here, we have to go to WooCommerce settings. So we go to the menu and look for WooCommerce. So on the WooCommerce menu, we have the home, the others, coupons, customers, reports, settings, status and extensions. We go to others. So this is where all others will be listed here. So coupons will also allow you to create coupons for people to buy on your website. Customers is where you, you will see all your customer list here. Reports to you can also see your purchases and your sales reports over here. And so let's go to settings. I would like us to check on settings. So when we go to settings, this is exactly what we entered into when we installed WooCommerce. So this is our address. So mainly this settings is your store address settings. So where your store is found, your address line, your address line to your city, your country with your state and your postcode, then selling location. So your selling location is mainly um, where you like to sell to, for example, if you like to sell in your country alone, you can select sell to specific countries. So we also have sell to all countries except. So when you click on sell to all countries except, then it means you are selling to all countries except those countries that you select. So in this tutorial, we are selling to specific countries. So when you select the specific countries, this sell to specific country come for you to enter the countries that you want to sell in. So I'm going to select Ghana as the country I am selling in and maybe select United States. These are the two countries I would like to sell my product to. I'm not going to sell it to any other country apart from these countries. So let's go to shipping location. So so ship to so this one is selected on shipping location automatically it ships to all countries you sell to. So it's going to ship to these countries. So let's go to customer location. So customer location either you want it to set it to shop base address or geolocate. Geolocate is mainly where the person is shopping from automatically. The billing address will be set there. Mainly, I would like to sh put it on my shop base address. So if you want to enable taxes on your website, you can click on the enable taxes rates and calculation. So if you enable taxes here, you get another tab here, which you can set your taxes over there. So in this video, I'm not going to use taxes, but um, I will enable it and show you how to you enable your taxes. And here too talks about coupon so if you want to use coupon you should enable this so this is where you select your currency then i will click on save changes okay so it has been saved so let's move on to the next tab which is the product so as you can see you have the tax tab in here so let's go to the products tab you have to make sure that shop is selected so 
to add to cart behavior you can also make it redirect to cart page after successful addition or enable ajax to add to cart i'll leave it to this so the weight unit is also is set to kilogram grams this unit depends on the country you are in so you can either make it pounds or grams i'll leave it as kilogram then the dimension to i'll leave it as centimeters so you can just select any of them the ones you want enable reviews to allows you to enable product review so if you want people to review so like we have here you can allow people to review on your website if you don't want it you can also disable it so i'll leave it to enable product review for people to review our website click on save changes so let's go to the inventory this side allows you to manage stock so if you want to manage stock you can click on the manage stock here then you can select your notifications so notifications for example this is where the notifications will be going to so you can update this email address and you select the low stock threshold so this is the lowest when it gets to two it will alert you that you are on low stock so let's go down here you can also select either to always show the quantity remaining or only show quantity when it is on low stock or you can also click on select never show quantity remaining stock so i'll leave it on only show quantity remaining in stock click on save changes okay so let's move on to the shipping so let's click on shipping so to set the shipping zone you are setting a zone where you're going to sell to so we click on add shipping zone or you can click on add shipping zone here then you this is a zone that you are going to sell to so i'm specifically going to sell to ghana and usa so you can name the the location or the zone name then you select the countries that you are selling to then this side is the shipping method whether you're going to make it a flat rate or a free shipping or local pickup i am making it a flat rate in ghana so you pay a little fee for shipping you can also make it free shipping if you want so you can add free shipping so in here you go and edit it and you enter the the cost of the shipping that you want to ship to this specific zone which is ghana so i can say it's five then you click on save changes so the free shipping tool has no amount as you can see here so we don't do anything here then so what we do is we go back to so this is how to enable and disable the shipping if you or you can delete it to remove it so i'll go back to i will save changes to save the changes then go back to the shipping zone there is also an other option here called locations not covered by your other zones but i don't want to use this one i want to add a shipping zone because we are just selling to only two specific countries so what i do is i click on usa then i enter the, the country name click on united states then i add the shipping method to here flat rate click on add shipping method so you edit the amount let's say i'll make it ten dollars then click on save changes okay so you can also rename the flat rate to shipping fee or fee let me make it fee so this is an option that you can also do you can change the name of the shipping method okay so it has already been saved let's go to this link here called shipping options so the shipping options also have some settings for calculations where you enable the shipping calculator on the cart or you hide it until the address is entered so these are options you can also select i'll leave it empty and the shipping destination whether you want it to be shipped to the shipping address of the the customer so you set it as default to the customer shipping address or you leave it to the customer billing address or also you can force the shipping to the customer billing address to prevent fraudulent activities on your website so this for shipping to the customer billing address is mainly to ensure that the shipping address is always set to the billing address so for example if someone uses someone's car to buy you can't ship it to another country 
So this is mainly to prevent fraudulent activities, but so we'll leave it to default to customer billing address. Then we click on save changes. Okay, so let's go to this shipping class. Very, very important. So the shipping class is mainly for in case you sell items, for example, let's say we have t-shirts that we sell, which is less than a kilo. And we might also be selling another item like, let's say a TV. So when we are selling TV, we need to differentiate between the shipping classes. For example, the prices are not supposed to be the same. So what you do is you have to separate the shipping prices by adding shipping classes. So what we do is we name it shipping class by small items here. So that is the description. Then I add another shipping class again, large items. So then we click on save shipping classes. Okay, so let's go back to the shipping zones again to show you how to differentiate the so let's change the class here again. Okay, so let's edit the what I'll do is I'll delete the free shipping here, then edit the flat rate here. So what I do is you remove the five dollar five from there and enter the ten, which is going to be the shipping at cost for the large items and five or two for smaller items so what i'll do is so if you don't assign any class to it you can also make it like one dollar so if when you are creating a product you have to assign these items to these classes to the item so that it can know what shipping class it has so if it has no class cost you can also leave it as one so for now i'll leave it and click on save changes okay so let's move to the payments how to receive payments on your website okay guys so we are ready to accept payments on our website so we have this payment method direct bank transfer check payment cash on delivery and paypal i will also show you how to add other payment gateways so those of you in africa especially Ghana in nigeria we can install paystack and flutterweave to accept payments on our website but first of all PayPal is accepted in over 200 countries, including Africa, Europe, and America. So if you have a PayPal account, you can just set it up here by clicking on Setup. So we are going to enable PayPal by clicking on PayPal Standard. Then this is where you enter your PayPal email. Then let's go down. So, so what we will do is we will click on Save. Then we go back to the payment again. So we've enabled PayPal successfully. I'll have to add another payment gateway called Stripe. So if you want to accept payment directly on your website, you can use Stripe. So Stripe is mainly used in the United States and some European countries. So it's not really everywhere. It's not accepted in Africa. So what I'll do is I'll go to plugins, go to add new. So I'm going to search for Stripe click enter i will scroll down looking for woocommerce stripe payment gateway by web Toffee. so i'll click on install now then click on activate i will also add another one for those of you in africa mainly ghana in nigeria so i'll look for paystack which easily accepts mobile money payment so we are going to use install paystack woocommerce payment gateway so i'll click on install now so as you can see we have over 10,000 active installations so then we will activate it later on but i want us to check out for flutter wave 2 so flutter wave 2 is used in africa if you want to check it out you can install it and so let's go back to woocommerce settings but before then, we will go back to plugins. We need to activate Paystack. I'll click on activate. Okay, so let's go back to WooCommerce settings. Then we go to payment. So what you do is you enable this one, pay Stripe payment. So I'll enable Paystack too. So what you need to do is to manage, to change the test mode to live mode and enter a live publishable key here. And 
also make change the title here to credit or debit card okay so what we need to do here is to go to your so when you go to stripe.com you are log in and you come to developers so you come to developers and you come to your api keys and you see live api available i'll copy my publishable key then go to change it back to test mode because i'm using test mode then i copy the secret key to so i go and copy my secret key to so what we need to do is to come down and click on save changes then we go back to the payments again so right now you'll be able to accept stripe payments directly on your website those in africa you just click on manage to also accept payments on your website so you enable the pay stack by ticking it then renaming your title debit cards and mobile money because it accepts mobile money too you untick enable test data so when it is ticked you can see it changes to test secret key but we want to use the live key you untick it and go to pay stack and log in to my pay stack backend so just register it's so easy to register so as you can see i've already accepted some payments in here so what you need to do is to go to settings and copy your api keys from here so these are your, your live secret key and your public key so you click on copy to copy then you go back to your website to paste it you go back to paste that again go and copy then you come to live public key and paste it i'll click on save changes okay good so what we need to do right now is to go back to the payments again so these are the three payments we are accepting right now we are accepting paystack stripe payment and paypal so if you want to also accept cash on delivery you can select that okay guys so let's continue on to the account and privacy you click on it so in the account and privacy you can allow customers to place orders without an account you can also allow customers to log in into an existing account during the checkout so all these ones i will allow this one to customers to create during checkout and i also allow customers to create on my account page then i'll scroll down and on the privacy policy you select you create a privacy policy page then you select it i haven't created it yet so i won't select it then i'll go down and click on save changes okay so let's go move on to the next tab the emails so in your email what you have to do is make sure that your new order cancel order and field order have your emails here so let's go down then we can see our shop name here and our email the administrative email so in here to on the footer text you will get your site title that's your website name then a dash then you get built by woocommerce so what i do is i'll remove this so i'll just leave the site title then change the color i'll make it red okay so i want the theme to look reddish instead of the default purple color so the background color i'll leave all this and click on save changes we will skip this integration and move on to advance okay so make sure you have your cart page selected in the cart page then the checkout as usual then move on to terms and conditions so if you create a terms and condition page all you need is to go to the pages create a terms and condition page then link it over here after you have changed your terms and condition you come down then you click on save changes 
Okay, guys. So after the WooCommerce settings, what we need to do right now is to move to the product and add some product in there. So so before we add a product, what we need to do is we have to put them under categories. So if you are selling things like clothing, you might need to put them under categories. For example, maybe women's clothing, shirts, shoes, bags, men's fashion, whatever you want to put under. So before we add a product let's add a category my category starting from men's fashion as you saw on our website here so i'm adding three categories for now so men's fashion category so what i'll do is i click on the add category so after that it will be moved here i click and add another category name women's fashion i click on add category then the last one will be accessories then add new category so right now i have three categories that i created so let's go and create some product so i'm clicking on the all product for you to see how it looks like so for now we don't have any product in here so before we start all i needed to do is to click on the add new product so to add a product you need to enter the name of the product then this is where you can describe your product and on the right hand side you can see the product categories that we created so this is the ocean wp settings i'll just minimize it for now then we come to the product data we have four types of product data we have the simple product so if it is just a single product this is how you're going to put it if you it is a pr group product for example if you are selling a laptop with charges which you are selling the charger and you are selling let's say a bag you can group the product and make it group product we have external or affiliate products so if you want to create an affiliate product like you're selling product from another store you can do that using the external or affiliate product the variable product means that let's say you have different colors or you have different sizes of a particular product so this is how you do it so first of all we're going to click on simple product so we're just going to add a simple product so let's start creating our product name so i'm going to create a product by naming it men's let's say men's sport shorts so at this side you can add in the specifications that you have let's say the features you can add in the whatever you want to say about the the product so let's move down and go to the right side so on the right side so i'll put it under men's fashion you can also create category directly from here so if i want to put it under another category so let's say i want to put it under shorts so we have the shorts under men's category men's fashion what i need to do is i click on parent category and put it under men's fashion then click on add new category so this short is going to move to the men's fashion so as you can see it's moved to the men's so it's a, a subcategory and the men's fashion so you can either unselect and put it only on the men's fashion then move to the product data so this is a single product so i'll put the price as in let's say 14.99 so the sale price might be if you want to reduce it you can say we are selling it at 10.99 so this is going to be a sale price like a reduced price of the regular price so you can also schedule it on when the sale price will automatically go back to the regular price without you coming back to edit it again so we can select starting from today then moving to let's say ending of the month of july so automatically when this sale price elapses, it will turn back to regular price as in 14.99 so let's move on so from here we we'll go to inventory so under the inventory what we need to do is this sku simply means a genuine let's say sku refers to stock keeping unit where you want to put in a unique number to identify the product so you can name it whatever you want you can leave it empty so if you want to manage stock you want to particularly tell the customers the number of 
items you have under this product you can let's say let's say let's say 50 so as you sell the numbers will be reducing by itself so that is an option that you can do allow back orders also means if after you have sold this 50 do you want to allow customers to still buy whilst it is zero i'm not going to allow that the low stock threshold mainly means when your product reaches this number you want it to tell you that your product is low on stock so this sold individually also means that if you enable this sold individually will not allow you to add any other item when you are coming to buy for example this is usually used under ebooks so if you are selling an ebook you might need to only do this to not allow for example so this is done when you are doing some shipping you might need to sell this one separately so that is just by the way let's move to the shipping aspect so you remember we talked about shipping class so this is where the shipping class are where you put them under small and large items you might need to leave it no shipping class to take the default price that was given on the shipping class so if you select small item it's going to manage the shipping class by the item so this is pro so this product is going to be this product is going to have a shipping price of the small item and if you put it under large item it's going to have a shipping fee of the large item so i'm going to leave it as the no shipping class for now then you can put this two under weight so if you want to put them under weight or dimensions you can do that so i'm going to leave it for now then we go to link product so we have the link product where we have upsells and cross sales so if you hover on the question mark here the upsells are products that um, when you are about to check out your cart so if you want to upsell or show another product similar to this particular product so this is a swim sh short if you want to sell another product which is related to this short what you need to do is to select a particular product you have in your product to upsell it so this upsell really helps you to make more sale by recommending other products for the customer to buy in addition to what you have in here so we don't have any product for now so the cross sale is mainly done at the end of the the cut for example you have checked out what you need to do is after the customer has bought an item what you need to do is you also like to sell something similar or another thing that is related to this product so the attribute so this attribute we're going to do that on another product but for now let's move on to the advance so the advance is mainly the purchase notes that you want to give to a customer when the person is buying so if you want to enable review on this particular product you can select um, enable or deselect to remove the review so let's move on down to this product short description so this product short description is mainly found on the item at where the price is so let's add some short descriptions i'm going to add some description a short description closer to the price so i will say this is a nice short this is just an example so after the short description you might need to add some tags if you want to put some tags so i'm going to add the product image and the product gallery so the main product image will be this here so i'll click on the product image so we're going to upload the product as you can see we have upload image and media file so we can select your files here by going to wherever you have your pictures so we're going to upload the product image so you select your product and you open them so i'll select this one and click on insert product image so it's going to appear here then we add another image which will be an additional image to the one we have here so i'll click on add to gallery we are done with the first product that's the men's spot shot we click on publish so we have our main spot shots ready right click and go to new tab now we want to check out how our product looks like so this is how our product looks like now we have 
spot short here so this is the sale price we have the 14.99 in here so as i said the short description will be shown here and if you want the products you show in stock then if you move down you have your description your long description here and your reviews will also be here so as i said if you want the product to have some reviews you enable the reviews or disable the reviews and we have our plugin which also allows us to share this to our social media site we have this side menu in here i will disable it to look more professional like the way we have here so for now we have some left menu sidebar we don't need it we'll disable it later so let's go back and uh, go and add the other product types so i'm going to add another product name click on add new to add a product so this is a new product i'm adding i'll make it open jacket for men so i'll just paste some dummy text in here i'll move down and put it under men's fashion then move down so this product is a variable product so what we need to do is we need to select a variable product in here so i'll select a variable product so the sq i'm going to leave it so i'm not going to enable stock so you can see the difference if you want to sell it individually so let's move on to shipping so you can add your shipping class and other things so the linked product too we can link it like this so what i'm going to do is i would like to upsell the short so i'm going to upsell this short to the jacket so we need to add to attributes like sizes or colors what we do is you can just click on the add here to directly add your attributes by naming it whatever you want let's say color so we can say let's say gray so add another so we add another color by just with this symbol shift then front slash then i add in another color maroon then another color separated with the same sign sky blue okay so these are our colors that we need to add to the product so this is a variable product as we said we need to select used for variation so this will enable it to work on variation click on save attributes if you want to add an additional attributes like the size you can just click on add again it saves then another section comes for you to add your size let's use small medium and large i will also select use for variation then click on save attributes so what we need to do is we go to variations on the next tab after saving the attributes we move to variations so the page reloads then as you can see add variations you will click on you select create variations from all attributes because you have already done some attributes in here you click on go then you click on ok so we have nine variations added so we'll click on ok to add it so perfect so let's save these changes click on save changes okay so after the save changes what we need to do is to add your short description if you have something to add you can add it so in here we have the swatches settings so the swatches settings mainly looks like this like the colors we'll talk about this later for now let's see how our product page will look like let's go to advanced so we don't have so if you want to enable reviews you can do that let's go and add our product image click on the product image select so all these product images will be provided on a link in the description below you just go download it follow whatever i'm doing click on select files so let's select okay so i'll select the one i want it to be the main product image i'll click on products select product so i'll move down then add the other images too 
so i'll click on control or command key then click on add to gallery so as you can see we have the product gallery here i'm going to publish this product click on publish okay so let's check out how our product looks like so i'm going to click on it as you can see we have the colors in here we have our pictures showing over here and we have some additional information that we have here okay so this is a related product to open jackets for men it is added as a related product because it is in the same category with the open jacket for men so what we need to do is we would like to change from this text to colors like we need real colors instead of just naming it gray then maroon then the sky blue we want to use colors instead of text then whenever we click on it we want the image to change to the color that we will select so let's go back and edit the product so this is mainly done in the attributes so if you want to do your attributes let's go to this attribute to check and change our colors okay so as you can see we don't have any attribute in here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to name it as color then i'll select the type as a color so i'll click on add attribute so we have the color attribute in here we can also save the sizes so if you want to add your size attribute here you can add it i'll leave it and just do the color settings so we need to configure the colors in here what do you need to do is add let's say the colors that we want so we click on configure terms then we add the colors i'll add gray then select the gray color in here so then click on add new color so the color will be listed here then i'll add maroon then select maroon color so click on add new color then you add another color the sky blue then you select your sky blue you add your sky blue color so we have this colors in here so this is how you add your colors whenever you want to add your color attributes you come to configure your attributes in your colors then add in your color let's go back to product then go to the open jacket for men and edit the colors okay so let's move down to the attributes before we can add our attributes over here we need to remove all the all the attributes we have here so that this can also remove the attributes we set here so what we need to do is after removing we click on save attributes then add the color that we added from the attribute so we click on the color so this color is coming from the attributes we click on add then we select the items we have in the attribute gray maroon then the sky blue then we click on used for variations then we add a custom attribute in here without going to the attributes to add so if you want it to be simple for you you can just do all the sizes in the attribute too so that you don't need to be entering it manually in here i'm just showing you how you can combine saved attribute with a custom attribute so let's go back and add in the size so the size small medium and large then i click on the use for variations then click on save so these two attributes should be added in the variation here so right now you can edit the prices you can edit your prices and your sale prices and so on so after making your changes what you need to do is let's go to update and click on update okay so after updating i'll click on view product here so i'll just open it in a new tab so right now we can have our colors in here 
so what we need to do is before we can change the colors we need to go back then edit it in the variations okay so we need to edit it in the variation by selecting the picture of the colors so we select the gray so if you want it to this is how if you want the picture to be selected when you click on the color this is how it works okay so i'm just doing it you have to do it like this to get it then and you select your sky blue oh, okay i think i made a mistake here the gray should be this one okay so after that we click on save changes okay so now we need to update then go back and refresh to see how it appears okay so right now if we should select the gray it should change to gray if we select the so as you can see you select your gray select your size if you send it to maroon it brings the maroon color if you send it to blue sky blue then it changes to the sky blue so this is how we work on variations okay so let's go back and work on another product so i'm going to add another product i want to show you how to add a virtual product to like an ebook wordpress then i'll say this is the number one wordpress tutorial ebook okay so i have my description here so it should be in a simple product by selecting virtual and downloadable then given the price let's say 27 dollars right now we are selling it for 9.99 this is where you add your downloadable file so what you need to do is to add the file so you can either enter your link or we can choose from our files our media file so let's upload our file so I'll click on and add okay so i will set the file you can also add the download limit you can also set an expiry okay so these are things that you can do so here we don't really do anything here so this is where i told you that if you want it to sold separately without adding to any other product so i'm going to select so the rest we don't do anything to it okay so what we need to do right now is to so you can also add a short description so what i'm doing is i'll click on the profile image then add the picture to it so i'm going to set the product image okay and we put it under so if you want to create another category you can just create a book category then click on okay so i select the book category then publish it okay so we can also view our product by clicking on the link here or clicking it here so i will open it in another tab okay so we have the ebook here with the description okay so let's go back and work on another product so right now i'm going to add an affiliate product or an external link so let's say i have a Dallas headset so with your description okay so let's just put it under accessories then we move and add it to i'm leaving the sales price so what we need to do is we have to select on external affiliate link so what happens is you need to provide the external affiliate link here so if you have an affiliate link here all you need is to provide your affiliate link your amazon link here then you can also change the button text so this one you can add it to cart because it's an external product then what we need to do is you can just select 
the product image so i'll select the product image then go and add the product gallery okay so what i need to do is to click on publish okay so let's check out how this one two also appears by clicking and opening a different tab okay so this is our headset so this product is an external link when you click on buy product it will take you to your amazon affiliates link so let's see if i click on buy product you see how it looks like it's perfect okay so let's close it okay so let's add a group item so we're going to add another product type called group item so let's say men wear design so i can add in some description here then select the category which is a men's fashion so we select the product type as grouped product we we'll click on the link product so i'm going to select the jacket then the shot so this is how you group some items so if you want to add a group item this is how you do it then we go and add a product image to it let's go and add your product gallery okay so i'll add my product gallery then we we'll click on publish let's check out how it looks okay so you see how it looks so this is your options this is how you add a grouped item looking perfect so we are done with okay so we are done with the product so let's go back to our product and see the products that we have okay guys so we are done with our product creation so from here we need to go and start making our page so let's check out how our page looks like so this is exactly how our page looks like this is not how we want it to be we want it to be exactly like this so this is our blueprint we are looking on so we have our menu we have our logo here we have our menu here and we have our hero image with some buttons and the rest so let's go back and work on our website so let's go to dashboard so here we need to go to pages and create our pages so when we go to so when we go to our pages we have the home page the shop the blog about and the contacts page so what we need to do is we need to create all these pages as you can see when we installed woocommerce we had this pages created automatically so right now we have shop here we need to add the home the about the blog and the contact page so let's start with the home i'll enter home okay then we go to publish so in case you come to add the home and you get a page like this just come to the icons here and exit the full screen mode so let's see how our page looks like we can just click on the view here so this is our home page that we want to build we have a home here and we have the breadcrumb here and we also have some links here what we need to do is remove this text from here and remove this links too so let's go back and edit the page let's scroll down and check out the ocean wp settings on this page on the main what i need to do is the content layout i'm going to make it 100 percent full width and i go to the title and go and disable the title too and update it so after updating we get the link here we can just click on the view page to see our page okay so beautiful we now have only the logo and the footer so this is our menu bar and this is our footer bar so what we need to do is we need to get our logo here we need to get our header bar and we need to get our menu tool here so let's go back and create all these menus here so we are done with the home page so as you can see we have home here so we don't want our home page to look like our website slash home no and you can see it is not our home page because when we click on the logo it should lead us to our home page and still we have this 
text and links here so before we can make our home page that we've created the main page of this website what we need to do is we need to go back to the dashboard and go to settings to reading then as you can see it says your home page displays is your latest post no we don't want to do that we need we change it to started page then this is your home page what you need to do is select the page that you want to make it your home page so i click on the home then i just come to save changes so let's go to our home page and see how our page looks like perfect now our home is the main page of this website so let's go back and add the other pages too so let's go to dashboard and create the other pages click on add new so our next page we need to create is the about us page publish add the contacts page click on publish then we need the blog page add new again then we add the blog page we click on publish let's go check all pages so as you can see we have the about page the blog page the contact page then the home page so you can see that the home is the front page so let's go back and check how our website looks now so as you can see we still have the same page as our home page we don't have the menus here as we can see over here so we need to bring the menu bar before you can get this menu bar what you need to do is let's go back to the dashboard and go to menus so when you go to appearance so let's click on the menus so what we need to do is we don't have any menu available for now so we need to create a main so we need to create a menu so what we do is i'll create main menu that you can name it any way how you want i'll click on create menu okay so this is our main menu so what we need to do is the menu settings we need to check this menu as our main menu that is going to be the main menu of the website then we need to add the pages here over here to be on the main menu as you can see we have the menu items here you can add pages you can also add posts you can add custom links and you can add categories you can add menu icons and also woocommerce endpoint so let's add pages to the menu so let's click on view all then i click on i select the home the about the blog the contact and we are looking for shop so this is the shop page then we click on add to menu to add all these pages to the menu i'm going to arrange it in the other as we see here you can arrange it any way you want so i'm going to bring the contact page last and bring the shop here let's click on the save menu okay so let's check out how our website looks now so let's go visit the site okay so now we have our menu here with the pages so what we need to do is let's go edit the home page again click on edit page on the top here then over here you can see the edit with elementor so this is the page builder we are going to use to edit the home page so we click on edit with elementor okay guys so we are on our home page so this is the page builder where we have the elements on the left hand side and we have some icons on the center so before we can edit our page we need to use this element here to edit our page so these are elements we have the basic element and we have the pro element okay so what we need to do is anytime we want to add this element we need to click on the add new section to whether be on one column two column three column four columns four columns and the rest if you want to make it two columns like this you click on two columns anytime you click on the widget what happens is it also brings it also brings its edit section for you to edit the page we have the layout the style the advanced where it consists of the pattern and the responsiveness so this is the layout so if you want to get the element again what we need to do is we click on this this icon here 
to get the element again so if you want to add an image we just drag it to the section here then we change our image then we insert the image so exactly like this if you want to add something on the right side we go back click on the icon and click on heading then we put it on the right this is how we edit on elemental page builder so you can change your text here by entering any text that you want and then you can also align it here either left center right or justified then on this tab we have the style so when you click on the style it's going to edit only this section so what i do is i'm able to change the color here then change the typography so on the typography we have the font family where we can change the fonts family so we have so many of them that you can use on your website so on this same typography we have the size so we can make the size so big as we want then we can change the font width so we can make it 800 make it very bold we can make it any size that we want so these are all the styles that you can make so this is how you edit your section so this whole place is called a section and these are elements so as you can see this is an element this is also an element so this is an image element and this is a text element you can add so many things to it we can add a button element on the same column here so this is also an element so a section is also called a block so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this block or section i click on delete section so everything goes let me explain the icons over here so these icons are from the plugins that we installed so this is a premium template add-on we added and this and this comes with the elemental page builder this is the event to element we added in the plugins and this is also the extra premium templates plugin we added check out what it does so when we click on this add premium so we can get this template and insert on our website without going through all this without going through all these elements one by one you can just insert this one directly we click on the plus it shows you the template design if you are interested you can just click on the insert i'll close it so that is how it works this addition is mainly what to add the section this is also from elemental page builder so we also have some free and pro templates built by elemental so these are also templates that you can also add to your website without the designing so when i click on this i can see the design of the template so if i'm interested so if i'm interested in food templates if i want to do a website which is more about food or restaurant i can simply insert so let's insert to see how it works so i'm going to insert what we need to do is you have to click on get started so i'm connecting my website to elementor page builder then we click on connect so we are connecting this to we are connecting our website to elementor so we've connected this successfully okay so you see how it looks like so simple so we can build a website with just this simple template so this is a template that we just installed directly from the elementor page template so if we want to edit so if you want to edit this template all we need to do is to just change the settings click on the edit if you want to edit this section you click on this icons here or you right click and click on edit hero section or if i want to change the image here this is an image i click on it then it shows me the attribute here so i can just change the image and put in anything i want so i can insert any logo or image here then i can also edit this text sections so let's delete all these ones
so we can just right click and delete it okay so this is how it looks like we are back to where we were we're going to start building the page from scratch so what i'm going to do right now is we will need to start building our hero section then we move on down here so let's go back so let's start by adding our hero section so i'm going to click on the add section then i'm choosing two columns so i'm going to add the text in here click on so i can either click on the plus or click on here to go back to the element so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a heading move this heading and put it on the left column then i change it to up to 60 percent off okay so i'm going to add another heading to so i'll also change this to okay so we have done the up to 60 percent of the fashion collection so i'm going to add a button to it so let's add a button with the shop now so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change the text and the background the color i'll change the text here shop now so if you want to change where this button leads to you can just enter the link here we will do that later i'm going to change the background of this button so i'll go to style so i'm going to change the background color to red so i can also change the typography by changing the font family okay then we can change the size i can also change the width from default to let's say 800 to make it bold okay so let's go back so we are done with the normal so let's click on the hover so in case we want to change the color when we hover on it you can just go back to change it to any color let's select the green so when i hover on it you see how it looks so this is red when i hover on it it's green so let's go and make it red okay so it looks better now okay so these are attributes so these are sections so this is how you edit your sections we can also change the text color by going and change the typography so we are going to make this font montserrat too instead of making changing all this font family anytime we add an element what we need to do is first of all let me update you always need to update the website to show on the front page or else if you don't update you won't be able to see the updates that you've done or the elements you've added on it onto the front page so if i want to change the default font what i need to do is is to click on this hamburger icon here then go and change the default font here so i'm going to make the primary headline as montserrat so as you can see all the text changes to montserrat you can also make the second headline to the same you can change the body text to i love montserrat because it's very nice and beautiful so i select montserrat for all my text then i click on apply so what i need to do is i just need to change the size of this text and change the colors i'm going to the style so to change your colors you go to the style where you can check your text color by making it white so for now we'll make it black because the so let's change the font size so we're going to make it so big okay so this is how we're going to make it then i want to edit the background of this section to the image we have here so on this section so we can't edit the section here so what i do is i need to click on the navigator to show the whole section so as you can see i have the whole section here i'll close it then i'll change the background image so i'll go to style then on the background we have normal i'm going to select the classic here 
so you can either add a color or an image so i'm going to add an image i'm going to choose our image so this is our image i will insert the media so these images are already provided in the description below so insert media okay so this is how our image looks like what we need to do is we want to position the image well and also add some spaces in within these columns so i'll position to center center then i'm going to add some spaces like we have here so it's either i add padding at the top of this section at the top of this element and the down of this element or we can also add spacer so an element called spacer we can add spacer then we increase it to let's say 110 then i add another spacer here then change it to 110 okay so this is how it looks like now i like to add some so i'll make it 140 and this spacer as so this is i'm editing this one and edit this spacer to 140 okay so if you want to edit the section again what we do is we go to navigator and then click on the section we only do it for the first section the first section doesn't appear instead of us right clicking and editing the section we can't do it so i'm just going to change it to top center okay so let's hide to see how it looks like wow that's nice so let's change the font colors to to white edit this one to edit hidden click the text to white we can also increase the fonts okay so this is okay so it seems our background color has changed so let's make it red here then save it so we need to update the page all the time anytime we do our work we have to update it so we can preview the changes or check the website by clicking on preview changes here so i'm going to click on preview changes to see how our website looks like so we are done with the hero page now let's close it anytime we are building this website what we need to also consider is the mobile responsiveness so let's check out how it will look on our mobile phone so to check how it looks on the mobile phone we come down here on the responsive mode we click on responsive mode and click on mobile so this is how it looks on mobile our hero image looks so long over here so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to minimize the images here and the spacer we added here so as you can see we if we are going to edit this spacer it's going to be on only on mobile so let's go back to the desktop and see how it appears on the desktop so let's go to the mobile version and edit this spacer individually to look different so i'm going to right click on it and click on edit spacer then let's move it to reduce the size so as you can see we've reduced it to let's say 30 then we move down to the next spacer we edit the spacer then we move it again to 30 okay so this fashion collection looks so big on our mobile we can also edit it individually by going to typography so as you can see this is also going to look different on mobile so let's reduce the size okay so this looks perfect let's make it 40 pixel then so this is how it's going to be so let's click on the responsive mode to check how it looks on the desktop this is different from what we have on mobile so this is how it appears on mobile this is how it appears on desktop so we need to add these icons here so this is another section we are done with the hero section then we are moving to this section so we have four columns here as you can see so what we need to do is i'm going to add four columns by clicking on the add new section then add the four columns 
So after adding the columns, let's add our icon box. So let's set for icon box. So as you can see, I move the icon box here. We want to make the icon go on the left instead of center. So we go to icon position, then we make it left nicely. Then we edit the heading, then the text to here. So the first one we have is free shipping. Then I change the text to, we are going to change the icon by going to the content, then change the icon. So these are where you can find your icons. So what I can do is all icons and set for track. So I have some different tracks. So let's select this track to insert. So now we have the track in here, go to style, change the size of the track to let's say 50. So you can change the track size to, to any size you want, then change the text. So on the content to, I'm going to change the colors of the content, change it to black. So you can also change the color of this. So it looks nicer. So we have some space between the heading and the text here. So I'm just going to make it zero. So we don't have a white space here. So what I need to do is I click on update to save the website. So what I'm going to do right now is I'll just right click on the icon box, then go to copy, click on copy. Then I come to this column. I right click, then click on paste. So I'm going to paste it to all these columns. Then all I need to do is to change. So I'm coming here, clicking on the pencil icon, then changing it to another icon. So I'm going to make this. So let me change this one. I'm just changing this one from to 14 day return. Then I go to the next column. So I can also edit the text in here. So let me go and just copy them here. Go and paste it. Go to the next column. Change the icon can just look for the icon name so I already know the icon names so I'm just changing them this is payment security so I'm going to copy paste it here so the next column let's edit the next column we change the icon again to click on it insert it Okay, so let's change to online support and we paste it here. So we are done with this section too. Let's click on update to update it. So we can see that this section is so closer to the hero section. Let's try and add a spacer there. So click on the add section. We add one section, then we move it up here. Then we go and add a spacer here. So we are adding a spacer. Then, okay, I think 50 is cool. So we click on updates. So let's check out how it looks on our website. Click on preview changes. Okay, so we are on the right path. So what we need to do right now is to add a featured category. Let's go back. So what I'm going to do is I'll just copy this, duplicate the spacer and move it down so that we can have another space in here. So what I'm going to add is I'm going to add another column here, the featured category. So what we need to do is we click on the add new section. I'm going to add three columns. But before then, we need to add the text, the heading here, featured category. So I'm going to add a heading here. We have a heading called dual heading. So this is dual heading. So I'm going to move the dual heading to this side. 
okay so you can see featured category then the second will be categories let's go to the style and change the colors and the font size so we go to typography to change the size so this is the first heading that's i'm changing the size so i'm changing the size of the first heading to 25 then change the width to 700 then we change the text color to black okay so let's close it by clicking on here and go and work on the second heading so change the typography to 25 change the weight to 700 then go back and change the text color to red on the pencil icon you hold it then you move it down to the next column you leave it here okay so this is where we want it to be so what we need to add is this is called a divider so we're going to add a divider so let's go to this icon and look for divider so this is divider just going to add it after the featured category so when we add a divider it looks so long so we're going to reduce the width here to let's say 15 okay then you're going to align it to center and you can also change the color to red you can also change the gap okay so let's click on update then what we need to do is to edit the background of these columns then add the text and the button so first of all let's change the background of this column so let's change the column by right clicking on it edit column so this is where we edit the column so we are going to go to style so let's click on background type choose classic then we click on the image so let's check for the image and insert the media okay so we've changed the background we need to add a heading we select the heading and move it to the column so we name it women's fashion so we're going to change the, the style the color to white then we change the typography can change the size let's make it 20 then the width to 700 okay let's change the size to 25 is cool so then let's add the button so we're going to add a button we change it say shop now then do the other so let's go and change the style and make the color background color red then change the typography you can work on the fonts make it a little bold 800 will be cool so let's apply update so for us to get these spaces here we can either add spacer or we can add padding to the column so there are two ways so right now i've already showed so i've shown you how to add the spacer right now i'm going to add the column so we can also add the patterns to this column so when i right click on the column i click on edit column i go to advance i can add padding to the column so let's say if i start adding padding so you see how the padding works but we don't want to add padding to top and bottom so we have a margin and we have a pattern so the difference between margin and pattern is margin adds spaces around the column this column so if i start adding 100 so you see it adds space to the object in the column but if i say pattern it adds spaces inside the object so that's the difference between the pattern and margin so we need a pattern instead of margin 
so let's add 100 but we don't want it to add paddings to the left and right we only need the top and down and a little of the left and right so i'm going to make i'm going to click here to unlink this together then so if i click on here you see it has faded then i'm going to change the right side to so I'm making it 20 and the left to 20 beautiful so i'm going to make this one 140 and the top 140 so what i do is i click on update so we have done the women's fashion exactly as we did these columns what we need to do is so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy and paste and paste again so we have three columns so i'll just change the background click to edit the column go to style change the image to accessories change the text accessories then go to the third one then make it men's fashion okay so let's change the image let's edit the column then go to style change the image okay so this is how it looks we have the three columns done nicely then let's update okay so let's preview the changes to see how it looks like so this is how our website looks like so beautiful we are on the right path to our blueprint okay so the next thing we need to do now is we have to add this new arrival text and um, a divider and we have to add our product we created here we have to add products latest product here so let's go back close this and go back so to do all these things so to do this new arrivals again what i need to do is i'm going to copy the featured category here this one here section here this is a section so i'll just copy the section here then come down i can just paste it right click on this widget here i'll right click and paste so nicely so it has a divider already it has a spacer already we have our text and the divider so we just change this to the text here so we'll click on the pencil or right click and edit premium text new then arrival so we need to add product here so i'm going to add a section and i'll add a column so this is a column okay so before we can add products so before we can add our products here like we've done here like we've done here what i'm going to do is i'm going to provide this link in the description below to go and check the short code for pasting products so for us to get this products four columns products here i need to go to woocommerce documentation then copy the code and paste it there so let's go down and set for product scenarios so as you can see we have four product scenarios here so let's go copy this to so just copy then we come back so we need to add a short code here so that we can get our latest product so this is our product scenario here the first scenario is random sales we don't want random sales items we need latest product so this is newest product so we're going to click and select the code here double click right click to select then we go we are going to add the short code here so we need to go and search for the widget called short code click on it move it here then we paste the short code so we have the latest product we just added so let's update let's continue with our section so we are going to work on this section so this section has four columns 
text column, image column, text column, and image columns. I'm going to add a section for columns. Then I'll change the background to red. So I'm, I'm editing the column. When I click on the column, I can go to the style to change to. Okay. So I'll do the same thing on the second icon here on the second color column here. So I go back and edit with the same color. So as you can see, we have these two columns as this color here. So we're going to change these two columns to let's copy the color. So you can do any color that you want. I'm just showing you an example. Okay, then I move to the second column. Then I change the color to blue. Okay, so we need to add our text. I'll click on the first column here, then move the heading into, then change it to new arrival, then center it, then change the text color to white or black, change it to black. So we're going to change the typography from Monstrat to Railway. So I'm changing it to Railway, then increasing the text size. So I'm going to add another text heading, a heading again down here. So what I will do is I can just click on this, copy then paste the style onto this text tool. So I'll right click and paste style. So it will look exactly copying the text color and the text size, everything to the second text. So I will change the text to women's dress. The next one is the sales price. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add this sales price. So this is also two columns. So I'm going to add a column, two columns, inner columns inside this one column. So what I'll do is I'll click on the icon. Then you can see we have an inner section here. So the inner section, we move it down to the women's dress. So we are putting it inside this column. So you can see we have two columns in one column. So this is an inner column in a column. So I'm going to add a text now so we have heading and we have text editor so you can also add a text editor here and change the text to so i'm changing the text now then i'll change the style to black then i'll go to typography and also make it railway and i'll increase the size to 25 so before i can strike to i'll need to change the typography and go to decoration line through then change the font width to 600 and we also want it to so we want to change the woman's dress to so let's go make it uppercase transform to uppercase then change to 600 make it then increase 30 is okay so I'm going to duplicate this number and hold down, hold it and drag it to the next column. So I'll just edit it by changing it to the new number, the sales price, go to the style, go change the typography from line through to default. So right now you can see we have the line through. Okay, so let's. make it 800 okay so i'm going to add the image on the right here so i'll click on the add then insert the image then choose the image i have the image already insert the image okay so we have the image inserted perfectly so what i'll do is i'll click on this column 
then go to the layout and make change the vertical align to middle so that it can fit perfectly in the middle of this then make this price align to right so that it can be closer okay so i would like to make this image i would like to remove the pattern up here we have some small padding here i'll click on the column then go to advance then make the pattern zero so we don't have any pattern around it it looks perfect now so we need to save it so update so let's do the same thing to the men's dress so what i'll do is i'm going to copy so what i'll do now is i'm going to copy this column and paste it so i'll just remove this delete this column then change it back to the blue later let's copy this image too and paste it here okay so let's change back the background color so we have the background color here so let's edit the column too by making the pattern zero then edit this to men's dress which we can change the prices from 89 to 79 or let's say 74 then the 54 okay so then we need to change the image insert the image so let's save it so right now we have this section also done okay guys so let's move on to the next section so the next section is this tabs here we have the new arrivals best selling featured and top rated we need to add some tab on this section but we need to get a space in here first so let's go add a section one column section here then add a spacer so we add a spacer here then make it 30 pixel so after adding the spacer we're going to add a tab element so i set for tab on here i look for tab by e kit so i move it to after the spacer so right now it's not looking exactly like this we have to edit it so first of all we need to center it so i'm going to center it here then these are the tabs in here we have three tabs in here so i'm going to add another one then start with wordpress so i'm going to remove it and make it new arrival then i scroll down remove the icon then i remove the text in here so for us to get the product here what we need to do is we need to copy the woocommerce short code here so we go to the short codes here and look for newest product so i click on it so i copy it again so pasting it changes the style so first of all let me go to text so i'll select the text then paste it here instead okay so we have the newest product in here so let's go to presta shop when you click on presta shop nothing happens it takes us to the text so what we need to do is we need to minimize the new arrival then click on presta shop remove the icon again remove this text so we need to change the title to best selling go to short code so we are going to look for best selling so let's go up here so we have the best selling here let's copy the text again come here we go to text then paste it so we have the best selling here so the columns are three we can make it four so you can see when we click on the best selling it shows only three column we don't want three column we want four columns so when we click on best selling it still shows three because the product is saying the limit is three so let's make it eight but we make it four columns so when we say eight so we get eight if we have eight product here 
we're going to get eight product in here so we can do the same for the new product so let's go to the new product and change the product limit to eight so let's go to Joomla and remove this title to to featured I'll show you how to make product featured but first of all let's delete this icon and this text for now we don't have any products as featured but go let's go copy the featured short code so this is our featured short code here let's copy it and go and paste it so when we click on it you can see that we don't have any short featured short code i'll show you how to make a product featured product let's go to the fourth tab make it top rated let's minimize this and go to the item 4 make it top rated let's go and copy the top rated short code i can just paste the ones we have here then just change it to top rated so we just need to make this top rated so the visibility is what makes the difference so we've made it top rated so the top rated is going to appear here so we have eight products with four columns okay so let's click on the top rated to see so we have exactly the same so when we click on the top rated it changes click on featured it changes best selling changes the new arrivals to changes so perfectly done what we need to do is we need to change remove the borders and change the active color to red and break this line under so what we need to do is so when we click on the active color you see it changes to red click on this one to changes to red so we need to make change the styles so let's go back go up then go to styles let's go to but first of all let's go and remove the borders so this is show carrot the show carrot is the line we have you can change it to this type as you want i'll leave it to this one so i'll go to styles then go down let's check the nav items so this nav items we're going to change the title color from blue to so we have the normal and the active so the active is black as you can see and the normal is blue so we change the normal to black so let's clear it and change it to black so this is the color of the border so we don't need any border so we remove the border type select to none so we don't have any border as you can see here perfect so let's go change the active color to red to our color to match the color so you can see the carrot is still blue let's go down let's minimize the nav item okay i think the active changed so let's minimize the nav item then go to carrot so we're going to change the width from 100 to 70 and change the background type to classic so change the color to red so we're going to move from the left so we're going to make it 17 so that it can fit well so as you move it goes left it goes right so position it perfectly so i'll just make it 17 to align perfectly so when i click on this one it also aligns perfectly under it okay so nice let's save it update it so we are done with this section two okay guys so we are done with the products tab here so the next thing we need to do is to get our latest news or these are blogs that you can add to your website the blog usually helps you increase your search engine optimization on google because we've not created any blog on our website what we need to do is we need to go back to our dashboard and create a blog so this is a blog so when i click on it like this so these are some of the blogs that you'll be creating to get 
search engine optimization so this blog is located on the blog page as we can see here so these are our blogs like articles that we write so we have your rights sidebar here with the set bar then social media icons and other recent posts and you can also add your facebook or instagram widget here when i go down you can talk about some things about your niche then you can add some product in here too so the blog also has a feature to share on all the social media pages on twitter facebook and the rest and you also have related posts also here so let's go and write a blog on our website so you go to so you click here the icon here then you exit to dashboard okay so we need to write the blog post at posts as we can see here so we let's go to post so this is where all our blog posts will be so this is a default post that came with wordpress so i'm going to delete this one so now we don't have any post on our website so what i will do is i'll click on add new or add new on the left side then what i just need to do is to copy exact topic that we have here and you can also start writing any text in here when you click on enter it goes to the next line so i'm going to undo so if you have your post already you just copy and you click on Control p and you paste it here and to have this image located here too we just need to go to featured image then click on the featured image so as i said i'm going to give you all the images so I already have the images provided in the description below. So I'm going to click on the image and set the featured image. So it will be loaded over here. Then what we do is if I want to add the product here. So this is a short link I added from the product in here from WooCommerce document. So I can copy the short code here and go and paste so all i need to do is go to the next line and so to add a short code you can't just paste it here like this it won't work what you need to do is just click on the block here add block then look for you search for short code and click on short code then you paste your short code here so what we need to do now is we need to publish let's publish so it has been saved let's click on view post i'm just going to open in a new tab okay nicely done here so we have our posts down here so we are going to add the sidebar later on it says it's a widget that we need to do so we're going to add that one later so as you can see we already have thing exactly like this so the related post will also come when you add more posts too as you can see we don't have any comment section here so I'm going to, if you want to remove this comment section, what you need to do is you go down here. So on this side, what you need to do is go to discussion. So as you can see, we have allow comment here. So I'm going to remove the allow comment and just update. So when I refresh the page, I can no longer see the comment section here. Okay, so that looks nice now so the related post will be added when you add other this other post here so you can go on and add this post later so i'll just fast forward and add the posts okay so when you are adding a post what you need to do is you have to add it to a category so you can see we have categories here automatically it is already assigned to category uncategorized so what I need to do is I need to add it to a category. For example, let's say we are, we are talking about fashion. So you can give, you can add categories like we did for product. So this category is different from the product category. This is a different, this is a post and the other ones are products. So the product category is different from post category. So you can locate all your categories at the left menu here. Go to categories. You can find them here. So you can just directly create a category here so i click on add new category 
so you can see we have the category here so these are categories you can create so i'll leave it to the fashion then update so i'm putting this category under fashion so as you can see when i reload so what is happening is we are not still seeing the related post here because the related the other post we created was under category uncategorized so let's go back and put the that category under so we're going to put the fashion design under the same category as this one so you can just do it with a quick edit here so i'll just remove the uncategorized then put it here then just update after saving i'm going to go back and reload the page so that you can see the other related other related post here okay so beautiful so you can see we have the other related post here so you can add so many posts and you'll get it here so let's move on to the home page okay guys so we're going to edit the home page so i'll just click on edit with elementor here so i'll click on edit with elementor okay so let's go down and add our blog so i'm going to add our blog here click on new section so just add one column then go here and add so i'm going to set for blog so i have a premium blog here so i'll just drag the premium blog to this section so you can edit this section by going to the attribute to work on them here so what i'll do is so we are having the skin as modern so you can select any way you want you can make it cuts and it will look like this i don't want it that way so what i'll do is i'll select the classic which looks nice so i like the way it looks okay so you can also select the columns that you want you can make it four three two one column so you can also select um the number of items to to show over here per column so we can also reduce the length of the text here by going to the post option i'm going to reduce it to let's say 25 so we want to see only 25 text here so you can see it has reduced it that's nice you can reduce it to any size you want so you can also remove the authors by going to author meter remove the author you can also remove the date or can, you can also remove the tax you can remove the comment meter too you can remove the tax you can also remove the category if you want so you can remove any of them here so what i'll do is i'll just leave this okay i'll remove the categories and also remove the dates okay so this looks better now then i'll remove the post format icon too the next thing i would like to do is to also have a button here instead of the dot you can also change it by making it a link so when you make it a link it will change to a button instead of the dots let's change the button here from gray to red so we'll click on it from the style tab we go to call to action so we'll go to background color then we we'll change it to the color we want that's cool so we are done with the block so what i need to do is i need to add a header here that will say latest news and we would like to also change the background color as you can see we have white here we will need to make it a little gray so what i'll do first is i'll go and copy the title we have here so i'll just copy it right click i can either duplicate or copy so when i copy i'll bring it down here in the widget icons tab here so i'll just right click and paste we move it up I'll remove this spacer here i'll delete the spacer then i'll rename the new arrivals to so let us blog so let's go down and update okay so we are done with the blog what we need to do is we need to put in this brands here so we can also add some brand icons this might be a carousel which will be sliding so what i'll do is i'll add another section here i'll make it one column then let's go and add image carousel 
so we call it image carousel then we pull it down here so what we need to do is we need to add the images but first of all let's change the background of this so this is a different section from this so what i'll do is i'll change the section from here so let's start from here so i'm going to change the background of this section go to style then go to background type then go to color then i copy the same color code then i go to the sex the next section then go to the style then go to background type so what i'll do is i'll just paste the code here then it matches with the, the title section okay so what we would like to do is we would like to add some spacer here so that we can have a space here so what we do is i'll just bring a spacer by just pulling it here okay then i'll reduce it to let's say 20 then save it okay so nicely done so let's go add our brands so after adding the image carousel then we go add the images so i already have these images in the description below so these are the images that you can add creates new gallery so we can insert the gallery here okay so as you can see we are only having three images showing here so what we need to do is we would like to make it let's say five i'll change the number to let's say five okay so beautiful so we have five images showing over here as you can see we have six so it will be scrolling so if you want to remove the dots here what we need to do is we would remove the navigation to none so we don't have any navigation showing okay that looks better now so let's update it so what we need to do now is to add the footer section so we have four columns one two three and four we have the about with some social links then the quick links then my account links then we have the category and the payment image here so so we have successfully created our home page so what we need to do now is as you can see we have comparing our website here our colors are red so our currencies are shown red and we have some icons here and we also have red as shown for the button add to wish list so what i'm going to do is i'm going to we're going to change all this make sure the eye icon is shown and change the color of the currency to red to match what we have and also add a red background so this is a css work we're just going to do so it's not difficult just show it how to do so let's go up what we need to do is we would like the this section to be full width instead of being shots like this we want it to look exactly like this we want it to from left to right so what i'll do is i'll click on the section here i'll bring the tab back click click on the section here right click and edit section so what i'll do is i'll make it full width so as you can see it fits the full width that looks better now so let's bring it back and save it okay so that looks better how about we need to check how it looks on mobile so let's check how our website looks on mobile now so let's go down here and check the responsiveness go to mobile okay so let's start from the top we have the image and the button let's scroll down so we have this section here so what we need to do is i'll right click on the image button box i'll click on the column here so this is the edit column so i'm editing the column instead of editing the the icon box so i'll click on this right click and go to edit column then the column width what i'll do is i'll make it 50 percent so this is how it will look then go to this icon box then also make it 50 percent 
so you see we have the two columns matching then i'll go here and also make it 50 percent then i'll go to the next column then make it 50 percent so this is how we want our columns to be we want it to be two by two so that looks perfect so let's go down okay so we have this section two let's scroll down i think this looks better or what we can do is we can click on the column so we need to let's go to advance then give instead of making a margin from the right so what we are going to do is we're going to make it zero so that it fits perfectly well so what we do is we only give a margin so as you can see we are editing the margin for the mobile phone not the desktop so the button what we're going to do is we're going to make it 10 sorry so what we need to do is we have to unlink it then only work on the button so we are removing the link so we are editing only the button here so what i'll do is i'll do the same thing to the other ones go to advance remove the link then edit and make it 10 so we are giving some small space at the button here okay so i'll go to advance edit this column remove the link make it zero then let's see make this one to 10 pixel okay so that looks nicer so we can also reduce the spacer here only on the mobile phone so we can just make it let's say five that looks better now okay so let's scroll down okay so what we do here too is i want it to look on the same line here so what i'll do is i'll edit the column then make it 50 percent on mobile alone then i'll go to the next column and make it 50 percent okay so that they can be on the same line then i'll scroll down and do exactly the same to the men's dress 50 percent the next one 50 percent okay so they are all on the same line then let's scroll down okay so let's move down here so we have our tab product so let's move down okay so we have the blog tool looking perfect on mobile then we have the brand icons or brand images showing so let's edit it in the carousel let's edit the carousel so we want to show two images at a time in mobile so as you can see so we are showing two images on mobile that i think that looks better now okay so let's update and save it and let's see how it looks to on tablet so let's check the tablet okay so the tablet also looks perfect we have the hero image then i think the tablet looks perfect so we have the two columns okay that looks better too this looks fantastic okay so that's cool so we have the latest blog to in it on the tablet what we see is we have two columns so we're going to edit the blog then over here on the content we can change the number of columns from the tablet to let's say three so that it looks perfect okay so as you can see we have three columns in here then we can update it so on tablet so i can edit this one so i can change it to let's say three images appearing okay so after that i can just update and it looks perfect so let's go back to the desktop i think we are done with our home page now everything looks perfect so what we need to do now is let's go work on the top bar here so as you can see we have the top bar with the social media icons and some links here and we're also going to work on the footer so let's go back to our dashboard so let's exit here and go back to our dashboard so what i'll do is we will go to appearance then go to widgets so we have these are the widgets on our website so we have 
the left sidebar the search result sidebar so what we need is we are looking for the footer one footer two footer three footer four so what we do is we click on footer one that is going to be the first footer here that is going to be the first footer here the, this side is footer one footer two footer three and footer, footer four so we will add footer one so the footer one is the text so what i'll do is you can just write your company description a short description here so what i'll do is in the footer one I'm, i'll look for the widgets here then search for custom html so we just add it to footer one i'll select the footer one and add the and paste it here then i'll save it so i'll click on done then what i need to add is the social media icons so i'll look for social icons here so i have the social icons to here so what i'll do is i'll select the footer one again add it to the widget so what are we going to write we don't have anything to write here so i'll remove the title you can put in your your twitter link so what i'll need is i'll copy and paste it here so i'll just change it to the facebook then instagram too i'll paste it here then change it to your instagram account okay so if you want to add linkedin and other the rest you can do that but for now i'll just click on save so let's click on done so what i'll do is i'm going to add about us caps that looks better then click on save so what i'll do is i'll add the footer menu here so i'll look for menu so what i'll need to do now is let's go back to menus and create a menu for my account so we want to create a menu called my account cart shop and my wish list so let's go create it so as we already have one menu here we're going to add another menu so what we'll do is we go to create a new menu so i click on create a new menu then what i'll do is um, i'll name it my account then create the menu okay so right now after creating the my account menu we have to add pages to it we're going to add my account so we have my account here we have the cart here we also have the shop then the wish list so i'll just click on add to menu okay so i will rearrange it well on how i want it to look like so this is the wish list you can make it rename it to make it my wish list i'm just going to click on save menu so what we can also do is we can use this menu for the top bar so when we go here as we can see the menu here this is also a menu so we can also select it to be a menu on the top bar so i'll do what i'll do is i'll click the top bar then click on save so let's go back to the widget so under the appearance we have widget so we have the, we've already done the footer one we're going to do we're going to do footer two let's set for navigation so this is navigation we click on footer two then add a widget so this is navigation i'll select the main menu to be quick link so we're going to name it quick links so what i'll do is i'll name it i'll make it caps too then i click on save so we're going to add another menu here on the footer three which looks the same here so let's go and look for another navigation then click on the footer three then add widget let's scroll down select the my account then rename it to my account then save it okay so footer four what we need to add is we have to add categories here so i'm going to add categories so let's set for categories so i'm going to look for tax cloud so i'll look for it and add it okay so let's say categories so we're looking for product categories rather so let's save again go refresh okay so that looks perfect now and we also need to look for 
add the payment we accept image here what we need to do is let's click on done so let's search for image okay on the footer 4 again we click on add widget so we're going to enter the title payments then add the image okay so let's search for the image so we have the image here add it to widget so that looks perfect so let's click on save then let's go check it out refresh okay so as you can see we have the payments we accept here nicely done so from here what we need to do is we want to let's check so we have the top menu appearing here as you can see we added the menu here so what we can also do is so our website is successfully done we are done with the footer tool so what we need to do is to remove these lines so i'll give you a css below to remove this what i'll do is let's go to customize so we're going to customize our website css by clicking on the customize where we we'll change the logo then we we'll change the top bar background then we add the social media icons here then we're going to change the search button here and make it show the icon well okay so let's go then click on customize okay guys so we are on the customize page so most of the settings we did under the menus the widgets can also be done on the customize section so when we go to widgets we can see the footer here so what i'm going to do is we're going to go to the home page settings then select the post so so when we click on the block what we see is we're going to have this empty space here so we're going to make the so we want to make the post page to be the block so when we do this what happens is all our posts will appear here okay so as you can see we have our blocks showing down here okay so let's go back then let's go to general options where we have the styling so we're going to make our default website to look red instead of showing blue so let's go to general styling let's click on general styling so instead of blue we want our primary color to be red then select here then our hover color might be a little deeper let's publish and see what happens so as you can see we have our cats icon now changes from blue to red our buttons will also look to red so you can see we have our our footer styles to change into red so what we're going to do now is we're going to change the products here to red and also the top bar to red so let's go change the so let's go change the theme buttons to red then background hover to red make it a little deeper okay so let's go back then what we need to do is we want to change the background of the top bar to red so let's go to top bar general then we go here and change the background color to red so as you can see we have it in red let's say we can reduce the color then what we do is we change the text color to white then the link color to so we have the link color to we're going to change it to white so you can see all the colors tend tend to white we are done with the top bar so what we do on the top bar again is we go back then we go to social so we're going to add our social icons to over here so let's do what exactly we did down here so i'm going to add a twitter then add a facebook again add the instagram so you can add all your icons here for now our icons are now showing but it looks gray what we do is we change the color from gray to white okay so we are done with the top bar for now 
So what we want to do is we want to change the logo here and we change the menu items from the sentence K to capital. So we want to make all these capitals as we've made it here and a little bigger menu. So let's go back. But first of all, don't forget to publish always so that you can be safe. Okay, so let's go change our logo. So we go to header, then we go to logo. So I'm going to select my logo. So if you want to know how to create your own logo, I have a video in the description below or when you go to my page, what you can do is you can check out the video on how to make a logo for free using Canva or I'll put a link in the description below to go to Fiverr to get to get a premium logo at just about $10 or $5 but I suggest you look for the ones with higher rating you can get a professional logo from Fiverr I'll put a link in the description down below so let's go back I already did a logo using Canva so this is my logo I did I did my own logo using Canva in this video provided here I'm going to upload my image then select so I'll skip copying so what I'm going to do is it looks so big so I'll just make it the maximum width to 220 so let's go and change our fave icon here so as you can see I have my fave icon so let's go back and change the fave icon so we have it here under the site identity then you go to select site icon so you can also do that using canva you can do it yourself i have a link in the description below so you select the icon then you skip cropping change this perfectly so we'll click on publish then let's go back okay so we are done with our logo okay so let's go to let's change the menu to caps lock so we go to typography we go to main menu so what we do is we already have its Montserrat as the main menu so we change it to Montserrat so what I'm, I'm going to do is I'll change it to uppercase to make uppercase so we can change the size to let's say semi bold okay so that looks nicer we can change the font size to from 13 to 15 that looks bigger okay so that is your own specification you can just do it by yourself i think that would be cool so let's go back then click on publish don't forget to do that so the next thing we need to do now is to change the colors of this woocommerce this is a woocommerce setting so let's go back then change the woocommerce colors so we go to woocommerce then we go to advanced styling so as you can see we have it showing as green so what we do is we change it to our color red then we go to our pricing so where they are showing blue we can make all of them red so let's make them red so we can make this red too then the price color so the price color is still green we can make it red so that looks perfect for now that's okay so okay so that looks perfect for now we can just publish it so you if you have time you can go through to change your colors to however you want it to be so i'll leave it like this what i'll do is i want to click on and go to the product page to see how it displays on the product page okay so we still see the price to be green in here so let's look for the price so the price color is still green for the product page so we make it red so on the product page to we need to remove this sidebar here from there so what i'll do is i'll go to single product again then as you can see left sidebar is selected 
so we will need it to be so if you want it to be right sidebar you can click on it and it change to right sidebar okay so you can see you, you can also make it both sidebars so for now what i need is i'll just make it full width without any sidebar so our product page is now looking perfect as we want so let's scroll down and see how it looks everything is looking perfect for now so let's publish it okay so we have if you want you will remove the categories showing here you can just remove it by clicking on the eye icon so for now i just want to remove the category i don't want anybody to see the category it is in so i can just remove the product meter so as you can see it will go off okay that looks better so it is off you can also change it to anywhere you want so you can bring the add to cut up there so this is how it looks okay we don't want it to look like that let's bring it back and we can also bring our product meter okay so there are so many options now you can do here the up sales items you can work on the up sales item you can also display or remove disable the related items here you can do everything here so you can do so many things by working on the single properties single product properties over here so let's go back and publish it so we are done let's go back so now our product page also looks better so what i'll do is i'll go to the shop page so we have our shop page here we have a um, recent post here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove all this side here we're going to change how the sidebar looks on the shop page we want to display the search the product categories then filter by price and filter by price size and color so let's go do that we'll go for widget so as you can see we have the woocommerce sidebar what we do is we add a widget called search so we have the product search that's our search then we're going to add categories and filter by price so let's add another widget called categories put product categories so we can make it caps product we can either show the hierarchy or remove it okay so i'll click on done then going to add filter so we're going to add filter by price so we change the text filter by price and we add another widget again search for filter again filter by size for now we don't have the size we only have the color so we filter by color so when you're doing your attributes what you can do is you can also add the size too so let's publish it okay so our product page looks better now so we have our sidebar ready so what we can do here is we have um, the header title here we have product then we have a default product here so we can either go and remove it on the shop page so let's go back to our dashboard here then go to pages so i would like to remove the text we have in here and add our own custom text so let's go to product page okay so let's go down here we go to the title this is where the subheading is shop for exclusive so let's see if i can also change the custom title from product to shop so i can change it to shop page update it then i'll come here then refresh the page to see how it looks okay guys so let's go to the shop page again so we've been able to change the shop page title and the sub heading here so what we need to do is as you can see when we go to the shop when we hover on the product we have a red 
background to the add to wish list so what i'm going to do is let's go check the css so we want to add a background a red background to it so let's go to custom css so i'm going to put all these codes in the description below to download and upload them so check out your text file then look at the code and paste it here okay guys so first of all i'm going to copy the add to wish background so this is where it is located you just copy then you paste it here so you can see it here so nice so we publish it we are done with this css here so what we need to do is we want to remove the footer menu lines to here so let's go copy the css to remove them so we have these two let's copy them go back then paste them too so let's remove these ones here okay so now we have our lines off so let's publish this one too let's go to the home page and let's change the last css so as you can see here our search icon is not showing properly and our quick view icon is also not showing properly so let's go add this code to here add them so now you can see we have our quick view icon showing perfectly our search icon showing perfectly okay so we publish it so when we click on the search icon this is how it shows i would like to change the display of how it shows so let's go to header let's go to menu scroll down so we have search icon style let's go to header replace so it looks better this way so when we click on it let's try to search for one product so let's say woman printed blouse okay so let's enter so what we need to do is we need to show only product when we search let's go back go to general options go to general settings scroll down search results page we are searching for only products we are not searching for any other item we don't want to set for post two so we are only searching for product so let's try it again woman let's publish it first now let's set for woman enter okay so that is so perfect so as you see whenever we search for any item it goes directly and set for the item instead of searching for any other thing again so let's go to home okay so our search bar is working perfectly so now what we need to do is we need to work on our about us page and the contact page so let's check the blog page to see how it looks okay so this is how our blog also looks we can also work on this side so what we can do here right now is let's go to widgets so this is the default sidebar we can remove some of these things here so we don't want to see any meter here so we will remove the meter then we remove archives then we will also remove comments so we want to have something like this over here we want the search bar the follow us buttons recent posts and let's say maybe your facebook feed widget so first of all your search is available your recent post is also available so let's check for the social media icons so let's add so we don't want any categories here to remove categories let's set for social media we add it so you enter your links here too so let me just enter the links you can add any link that you want to show okay so you can see we are showing 
this gray style we can change it from the style from the light to colored so that's will change the gray to colored so that looks better now then let's go add facebook widget so we have the facebook like box too so we need to add the page url so you paste your link follow us on facebook so i would like to change this images from the big images to smaller images like this ones so what we do is under still at the customize section what we do is we go to the blog then we go to blog entries the blog style we need to make it thumbnail i'll publish it okay so we are done with the blog page so let's go down then work on the the copyright let's go to footer then go remove everything if we want to get the copyright icon what we need to do is we need to write end symbol then copy then semicolon then the year then we write all rights reserved but we need to enter our shops so we need to do this here okay so that looks perfect so this is our copyright then we publish okay so we are done with the customized section so we need to close it now okay so this is how our website looks perfectly done so our photo is also done we are done with the home the shop the blog and we are moving to the about and the contact page so let's move up then click on the about page so let's go edit the page all right guys so in the about section what we're going to do is we scroll down then we're going to disable the sidebar so what we do is we scroll down and select the 100 percent full width so when we update then let's check out how our page looks like so now we don't have any sidebar here okay so what i'm going to do is i have this about us page already created in the description below so in the download folder you will find the about json file so you can upload it onto your about us page instead of trying to create this whole page again i'm not going to do that i'm going to give you this page so that you can work around it you can change anything that you want to if you like since i've shown you how to edit your home page i think you also be able to do the about page i also give you the contact page so that you can upload it so what i'm going to do is i'll just i'll go to the about then click on the edit with elemental so on the about us page we can go to we can go and add our pages from elemental page builder you can search for some free template over here so if you want any about page here you can the ones without the pro you can search for about page without a pro so something like this if you want this you can insert it so if you you are happy about this about page you can just click on insert and insert it onto your page if you are happy to use the pro version what i would like you to do is i'll give you a link in the description below to purchase the pro version the pro version allows you to add a, a slideshow on the home page so instead of this one hero image elemental pro allows you to add a slideshow where you show all images like this on your home page so i have a link in the description below to get elemental pro if you just want to import some of the templates all you need is click on the link in the description below and it will take you to this page if you want it on just a single website you can just pay only 49 dollars a year you click on buy so you get 50 pro widget for free 300 pro templates so you can get all this woocommerce builder it's a very fantastic page builder i recommend you to buy it it will really help you to build your website nicely so what i'll do is i have a template given in the description below you can just upload if you are interested in this my about page you can just import them and edit it as you want 
so let me go to the page so just click on the import template select your file so i'll click on my file then open the file our about page is successfully imported so i'll click on insert i'll click on yes so that looks so beautiful so you can just edit the page the way you want so i'll click on update so let's go back to the dashboard so let's go to all pages let's go and edit the contact page too okay so we're also going to disable the sidebar so at the content layout i'll click on 100 percent forward then update it so let's edit with elementor we also have an empty page here i'll do exactly what i did i'll add a template given to you so check the download file you will also find the contact page json file you will open it okay so we have the contact page to available let's set click on yes so this is our contact us page successfully imported so we are not getting the form here we will go back and work on the form so when you scroll down you can edit all these pages your map can be edited edit with a pencil you can select your location here i'm going to click on the edit contact form then click on the style then select the contact form one the form imported so what we need to do is click on update okay guys so we are done with the contact us page so what we need to do is let's go back to the dashboard so what we need to do is let's go view how the page looks like so the page looks excellent so what i would like us to check is let's go to my account page so this is where users will go to the account so what i would like to do is i want to i want to remove the sidebar here and when we go to cut page 2 i don't want to have the sidebar on the cut page and the wish list page too first of all i'll remove the sidebar from the my account page so let's edit the page so let's scroll down we we'll go to default then go to full width then update so let's see how it looks so it looks perfect so let's go to my cart page so we do the same thing to the cart page so we scroll down go to the content layout make it full width update it so let's see how it looks that's nice let's go to my wish list we will remove the sidebar from here so let's do the same thing make it forward update let's check how it looks so we are done all right guys so we are done with our website let's test to see how our website looks like so currently i'm using dollar what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to ghana cities so that i can use my currency to buy so let's first of all try with the dollar so when i go to add to cut then I'll, i can view the cut or you can also view the cut from here so we have 50 dollars plus shipping so when we're sh setting the shipping for my country that is the, the shipping zone i made sure i set up large items five the small items two then if it has no shipping cost so the default will be one so that's why we are getting one here because this item has no shipping class so if we selected the shipping cost for it as small item it would have taken two dollars okay so let's enter our coupon code here apply coupon then proceed to checkout we need to remove the sidebar on the checkout too so let's edit this page so we go to full width update so let's view the page again so this is how we want our page to look we need to enter the name so my region is selected i enter my address so i enter my city my region is selected so you can also make your phone optional so let's select your phone and you can also allow to ship to a different address so you can also write your other notes which is also optional so here we can either select paypal credit card that is using the stripe so if you add a stripe so customers can 
enter their credit card in here directly if you are in africa i'm also using paystack to do payment so if you also have a coupon you can enter your coupon here let's go back create a coupon so let's go to woocommerce then coupons so this is how you create your coupon you can create your coupon by adding a new coupon okay so you can either generate your coupon code or you can enter generate your own coupon so under the discount type we can make it a fixed cut or percentage discount we usually use percentage so if you i'm just using 99 you can also set to allow free shipping this one needs to set it to you need to check this if your coupon grants free shipping you also have your coupon expiry date so you can set it to let's say the next day to expire then we also have a usage a usage restriction where minimum spend can be applied here you can read to check out so for now i'll just leave it you can use you can check it out we have the user limit per coupon so this says how many times can this coupon be used you can set it limited to number of items you can also limit it to one person so the user can use it one time so i'll just publish it so let's go to our website again so we can hover on the cards icon and we'll go to checkout or view cards so i'll go to checkout okay so what i'm going to do now is so you can either use paypal credit card by stripe or you can select paystack from africa i'm going to change my currency since i'm coming from ghana i'm going to change my currency here so i'll go down here and change my currency to ghana cities then save changes so paystack only allows ghana cities in my country if you are in nigeria you can use the dollar and your the nigerian naira i'll click on place order so first of all i forgot to add the cards so let's add the coupon code and apply coupon then i'll proceed to check out so i'll fill my details so right now we are not seeing paypal again because paypal doesn't accept ghana cities so paypal automatically goes off so it's left with only stripe and paystack so i'm going to place my order so i'll click on pay now so what happens is it allows me to enter either my card or my mobile money number so i can enter my mobile money number then click on confirm so it waits for me to confirm on my mobile money so i'm just doing that on my mobile money here okay so i've approved let's see what happens okay so my payment was accepted so my payment has been accepted so let me go to my dashboard okay so the last 30 days let's go to today so this is the amount i paid you can see here 149 that's exactly what i got paid here so you after payment you also receive a confirmation payment in your email after your order has been received let's go back to the dashboard so you can see we have one order awaiting processing so let's go so anytime you get an order what happens is you get a notification showing here so click on so this is the order number with the name and the time so what do we do is we click on it the other details shows payments through the payment gateway used with the time and the customer ip it also shows the billing and the shipping address then you go check the other notes so you check the other notes so it says payments via paystack successful with a transaction reference so now you see the details of the item so it says so it says the item name so if it has 
attributes like large and other things you will be able to see whatever the person selected since the person the transaction has been completed so you inform the customer that the order is being sent you select no to customer then you add so the customer is going to get an email okay so after everything is done the order has been sent and the order received you come to status and click on completed then you update your order okay so let's go back to others okay so now your order has been completed okay guys so if you enjoyed this video i will be so glad if you like because it's going to help me grow my channel and also if you've not subscribed i would like you to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification icon to get notified anytime there is a new video like this and there are going to be more exciting videos thank you for watching and don't forget to share it to, to your social media pages.